Before this one, Jim Bentley was insisting that the playoffs were possible for Morecambe. It's safe to say he hadn't anticipated a defeat to the league's bottom side. Dan Jones went close for Hartlepool early on. Before some clumsy defending led to the game's only goal, Andy Parrish diverting the ball into his own net under pressure from Ryan Bird. A first away win since October. Pools were pressed into a desperate rearguard action in the second half. Mickey Featherstone denied Kevin Ellison and Jack Woodshaw on the goal line as Pools flung body in the way of everything Morecambe had to offer. Even the woodwork did its bit, preventing a David Murphy own goal that would have broken Hartlepool hearts. They held on for a victory that Ronnie Moore described as emotional. Yeah, not the greatest of result for either York or Carlisle, of course, who've now got a challenging run in to come. Uh, before we get into South End and, of course, Phil's time so far at Roots Hall, what about where it all started for you at Hartlepool? Because I tell you what, Phil, after this, what, their first away win in 12, they might have a chance. It, uh, it still pulls on the on the uh, the heartstrings, you know. And you see an own goal there, so they've had a little bit of luck. But the, I and think it doesn't matter how they come, does it? Not at all. Not at all. I think if they make a fist of it now, and you know, Tramia lost the last five on the bounce now, so they're yeah. catchable. Then if they catch them, you're looking at the next one. And Cheltenham, Carlisle, and York will be feeling it. So from.